Now, Elsa is moving its way up the East Coast, and after that, it's pretty quiet in the Atlantic, but that could change, we understand, thanks to La Nina. Meteorologist Michelle Morgan is here to explain that to us. Hello there. Hello there, and you know what? La Nina promotes an active hurricane season. Of course, we'll go ahead and talk about that right now. So I do want to start off with the tropics. I'm not tracking any active systems Good. along the Atlantic Ocean. You have Elsa just riding up along the East Coast, and then we have a broad area of low pressure positioned right over South Texas, which is actually bringing in rain into our area right now, and that is it. So right now we are quiet. So as you can see, we're actually looking at NOAA's Climate Prediction Center, they issued today, Thursday, a La Nina watch. And a La Nina, it's a phase of a weather phenomenon, and the opposite of a La Nina is an El Nino. And both of those weather phenomenons are called ENSO, or El Nino Southern Oscillation, and it originates in the Pacific near the equator. So as you can see right here, with a La Nina pattern, cooler than average seawater in the Pacific Ocean, so you have that unusual cooling in the Pacific Ocean, and then the El Nino, or an El Nino, is the opposite. You have warmer than average seawater in the Pacific Ocean, so with a La Nina, it greatly affects the hurricane season, or hurricane season rather. So it reduces the wind share in the atmosphere so you don't have upper level winds to break apart any tropical development and it's favorable when you have less wind shear. More tropical cyclones uh, could potentially develop and then you have a stronger Pacific trade wind. And so what, what that means is that it actually moves thunderstorms off of the African coast into the Atlantic Oceans. And there are other factors too that promotes an active hurricane season. You have above average sea surface temperatures. So all of those things can definitely cause an active hurricane season. And just to mention, Karen, Last year, historically, historically busy Atlantic hurricane season was in a La Nina pattern and we had 30 named storms.